South Carolina roads are paved with politics. An ambiguity in the state ethics laws allow politicians to own businesses that profit from your tax dollars. Senate Majority Leader Shane Massey says senators should have the right to own private businesses, but only if those companies do not receive state money. The public needs to know that the people who are making decisions about how their money is going to be spent don't have conflicts on how the money's going to be spent, right? That they're not personally benefiting. One example of this, the business dealings of State Senator Hugh Leatherman of Florence. According to Secretary of State Records, Senator Hugh Leatherman established Florence Concrete Products in 1955, and in 1991, he founded Lecon of Florence, a company that now owns Florence Concrete Products. State procurement records reveal that over the last decade, Florence Concrete Products has received more than $17 million in state contracts. Yeah, I mean, I think if you've got a conflict with that part of the budget, you shouldn't be managing that portion of the budget, and... I mean, I'd go for it. You shouldn't be participating in the debate, in my opinion, and you should definitely shouldn't be voting on that portion of the budget. The funding for these state contracts are approved by the Senate Finance Committee. The chairman of the committee, Hugh Leatherman. Leatherman also votes on how much funding the state budgets to the South Carolina Department of Transportation. And as a Senate pro tempore, Leatherman selects two of the nine commissioners that determine who can apply for construction bids. I think you ought to recuse yourself from the debate. You ought to be recused from the entire process. Massey claims acquiring power is not the issue. It's when the power becomes unbalanced and overreaching that forms a problem. You can put too much power into one person so that everyone else is basically left out of the decision-making process. That's been one of my concerns over, over the years, is that when, when you consolidate the power of the pro tem, which by itself isn't offensive, when you consolidate that with the power of the chairman of the finance committee or the chairman of the judiciary committee, those committees that are very powerful in the Senate, when you put the pro tem with one of those, you get a very powerful position. We wanted to talk to Senator Leatherman, but he declined to comment, and the Senate Ethics Committee did not return any phone calls. So let's stop here and recap. Current provisions allow lawmakers to own businesses that can profit from state contracts. They can vote on the budget. The budget funds contracts that any lawmaker's businesses can bid on and potentially profit from. State records show that over $17 million in state contracts has gone to a company Senator Leatherman founded, which his current company now owns. And under current ethic laws, it's all legal. But is it really ethical? People have to know, they have to believe that the folks they're electing are not pocketing taxpayer money. Right, I mean, that, that seems to, be a, to me to be a basic. Right? I mean, that's got to be a basic ethical standard. Senator Massey adds that the Senate is looking into ways to stop politicians that profit off of your tax dollars. It's going to lead to changes. Um, because we're in the midst right now of discussing new rules for the next session. And th those, those rules are going to deal with the new president of the Senate and what kind of powers that person has. Amy Saucus, Carolina News.